was in the room of winter time, and all the leaves had fled. Mighty Gitchy Manitou said, Angel climbs instead. Before their light, the stars grew dim, and wandering hunters heard the hymn. Jesus, your King is born. Jesus is born in Excelsis Gloria. Jesus. I've always been fascinated by Carol. My mom's English, and Christmas was a big deal at our house. And carols were a big part of it. And then when I ran into some of the stories behind some of the carols, I thought, oh, this would be a great program if I had someone to play it with me. And that's how we got started. A ragged robe of rabbit skin and wrapped his beauty round. And as the hunter braved drew nigh, the angel song rang loud and high. Jesus, your king is born. Jesus is born. Glory we sort of fill in back and forth as conversation almost. I start out generally, I'll say, I'll talk about um, the first carol known to have been written on this continent and the United States, and talk about Father Jean de Brebeuf and how he came over as a Jesuit missionary to the Hurons, learn their language, learn their customs. As was the ring of glory on the helpless infant there. The chiefs from far before him knelt with gifts of fur and beaver belt. Jesus, your king is born. Jesus is born in Excelsis Lord. He'd also been chosen because of his linguistic skills, because he, had, he understood several languages already. So the likelihood that he'd be able to learn Huron and speak it and converse intelligently in it was, was much higher for him than, than a lot of other missionaries he could have seen. So that's, that's kind of how we do this in concert is that, is that we'll, you know, we just sort of share the story as we remember it. And usually we remember it between us, we remember most of the importance. Come kneel before the Jesus, I'm not the 